Before we're gonna start the video guys, I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you guys for watching this video, the iPhone 10 transformation video. We finally hit 1 million views for the first time on this video. Thank you for everyone who watched that video. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go ahead and watch it in all of my video, but now we're gonna begin. Have you ever wanted to get the Android buttons on your iPhone? Well, if you did not know, this is actually possible. And today we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna take these buttons from an Android phone, the back button and home button, and actually place them inside of an iPhone. And this is an, a super extremely amazing mod because this makes life so much easier you don't need to actually reach to the top of the iPhone to actually click on the buttons so let's go ahead and get started but of course before we're gonna do that I'm asking for 100 likes as always this is kind of our channel's tradition but anyways if you want to see more mods on this channel do that and let's go ahead and jump in okay so the way you achieve it is you don't drill holes inside of your iPhone screen you don't do any kind of damage to your iPhone and this is as simple as it sounds so <laughs> it doesn't sound so simple right so anyways you need to have a tempered glass screen protector the one that I have in here this is the special one it costs around ten dollars so it's not super cheap and it's not super expensive uh, but it basically does the job it's got some electronics built into it and it works like a charm so let's go ahead and apply it on our iPhone and let's see how it actually works okay so let's move on to the unboxing by the way I haven't seen anything about this special screen protector on the actual box so don't freak out if you get something like this without anything on it. And let's go ahead and just take a look at the actual screen protector. So as you can see right here, we've got a little uh, circles up here and here for these buttons that we're gonna actually have on the iPhone as a result. And now let's go ahead and move on to the application process. And okay, so test number one, let's go ahead and launch settings. And then, yep, we are here, so we can now press on this button, for instance. This should be the back button, just like on Android. So, we'll press on it, and as you can see, we actually go back. This is so cool. Now we can go inside of a camera, and now, in order to change the uh, HDR settings, we can just press on this button, and we can now toggle on the HDR. Or, for instance, we can go ahead and just select some filters. When we press on it, now the filters are available. This is so cool. As well as in the Safari, in any other app, we can uh, access these buttons that we have in this uh, top uh, row. So, for instance, we can just press this button. Now we are in the search. So I'm gonna just click cancel, or if I wanna reload the whole uh, website, I just press on this one and it reloads. And check this out in the calendar app, it's absolutely amazing. I can just go back like that, go back, and I can actually go ahead and uh, create a new event up here, so like that, new events, I can cancel it of course super super useful and yeah guys i think that should be pretty much it for today i hope you really like this video and of course if you want to see more mods on my channel definitely be sure to share the video with the friends family anyone who'd be interested in it and of course hit the like button so that will be super much appreciated and as always guys have a nice day and i really hope to see you around peace out